Oh, there it is. Um, about 1,680 kilometers later, I got her home. Long trip for a car like this, but whatever. I don't care. Those little high despairs, by the way, they're uh, they're 15 inches, and uh, <clears throat> they fit on there quite nice. Uh, of course, they're no damn good for driving with, but they they worked really well for loading it on the trailer and whatnot. There's some rust on it there. Nuts. Of course, there's some on the other side, a little bit in the same place. Still has the original, I think it said Mazda or something along the bottom of the door there. <clears throat> it's just about gone, but you can still see it a little bit. Mazda RX-3. It's too bad, the, the back bumper is kind of into the bit. It's not bad, you know, a person could, it's thin enough I think I can actually straighten it out uh, by pressing it between a couple of soft plates <clears throat> enough to uh, at least make it usable. The little aluminum pieces on each side or whatever they are, they're kind of dented up a little bit, but the hatch in that is in nice shape. Uh, original paint, it's never been painted. Of course the tail lights are, this one's got a small one, small hole there. The other one is half gone or whatever. The lights do work. They oh come on. One signal doesn't work. I suppose there's a bulb screwed or something. <clears throat> and actually, this side here is a pretty pretty decent shape. So a couple little dents. I think you can see them right there, which is really nothing. Uh, even even the rear door just in front of the wheel well there is you know not much rust little wee hole down in there just well the rear door handle uh, same with the door the, the door is in very nice shape the glass is all in it. Of course, three of the windows were halfway down. You can see the stain on them from sitting there forever. One on the other side in the back there, too. <clears throat> but here's uh, this fender here is bad shit. It's been dented in and beat out and whatever. And he's rusty there, too. Uh, the rest of it is pretty nice. The antenna is still all with it. And the knob on the end, 77,000 uh, miles, or I don't know if that's miles or kilometers. <coughs> Probably miles. Hard to say, maybe not. It might be kilometers. I doubt it. Headlights all work. Kind of a cool little grill in it. The aluminum or whatever that is is kind of screwed up around it. The front bumper's pooched, and so is the little belly pan there underneath it. It's uh, <clears throat> seen better days. Roof rack's all in one place. It had a huge wasp nest under the dash there. I pulled it out. It's dead. Moved away. I didn't live here anymore.
you know, the carpet and that, you know, for what it is and the way it's been sitting forever. I'm draining the gas out of it now. It's really rank. I want to see if it'll run there. The engine turns over easy. It's certainly not stuck or anything. <clears throat> but I can't see it being good enough to be able to use, of course. That headrest there is really pooched. Both seats are, front seats are screwed. Because the windows were down on it, I guess. And, oh, the sun beats the hell out of them, too. The seal around this back door is really hard up around the top here. I don't know. It's soft here at the bottom. But, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah. I probably can't sit in here and show you much, but that's what the steering wheel looks like. Actually, the steering wheel's in very nice shape. It's faded and whatever, but that can be cleaned up. Horn works. But I don't think I can. Maybe. There you go, 77,431 miles. I'm guessing miles. Speedometer goes to... I'm sure it didn't go that fast, the little ship, but it goes to 130. I don't know if the tack works or not. Uh, I know the amp gauge works. Fuel gauge, I, I don't know. Uh, of course, I don't know about that one either. Clock, I don't, I doubt it. Radio works. <laughs> Sounds like a tin can, but. Teeter works. The shifter, as ugly as it is and rotted and whatever on the knob, uh, the transmission shifts really easy and smooth. There's no, it's really tight inside there. So, might not be too bad for that. I don't know what the hell that button's for. No idea. what it does when I try to hit the starter it the choke and throttle and everything all move there's the Cold start. I presume that's the cold start. Yes, it is, of course it is. <coughs> Crack across the dash right there. It's the only one, but there is one. The headliner is in extremely good condition. I, I can't believe how nice a shape it's in. I'll just go around the back here. Pretty good for something that's been sitting out with the windows open for God knows how many years. I couldn't find out when it was parked. But, uh, no license plates on it, no paperwork. So, probably the only way that I'll ever get out of 
get away with driving this thing in Saskatchewan if I decide to keep it and play with it is by uh, <clears throat> registering it as an antique. It must have had some kind of white stripe in the doors and that. Eh? That must have been a fairly bright white dick all at one time. That's probably why the back end, I thought maybe somebody painted this, but that's maybe why that's such an ugly thing too. There might have been something stuck to that. Exhaust pipes broke up at the front. The little one's still on, it's all good. I don't know what's with that little one, that's kind of strange too. But the glass is all in it and intact. The front windshield, of course, isn't so great. Wiper arms are there. The pump works, the washer. Hood's pretty faded. It's a pretty decent shape though, it's not beat up. Little ding there. Anyway, there it is. I guess it's a 1973. Kind of cute. If I could get some parts for it, I might keep it. I don't know. Still got the key for the gas cap there, too. There's a better shot of it says on the side Mazda RX3. Sorry, bump start, I forgot to show you the engine. You see the cooler line has been cut down there. I don't know why, there's oil in the pan. And yeah, that uh, cold start mechanism is all there, actually. It's uh, complete. It's even got the little caps broke off of it there. But Still even got the little ring that holds it in place. Like there's certainly very little rust under here. If you can shine this stuff all up. Of course there's coils and resistors. <clears throat> Twin dizzy. Bunch of points and shit there too for it, I don't know. Clutch, uh, clutch, of course, goes to the floor. The brakes try to work a little bit. I see the fan comes right off the end of the E shaft. Eh? The rad's all hanging in here loose too. It's, supports are all undone. The, the rubber mounts there that hold it are all broke. Air cleaner. Air cleaner was on nice and tight. And it's very clean <coughs> inside. I'll show you actually. It's Pretty clean for something that's been sitting forever in a day. It's always a good sign. All the heat riser and everything's still on it, it's not rotted off. 
She's all there. One thing about it, it is complete. It hasn't got, it's not missing a whole bunch of shit. I guess that's a <clears throat> far barrel Nike, eh? Don't know anything about them really. Yeah, like everywhere underneath the hood here is, you know, it just shines right up, eh? There is some rust on the bottom of the, the hood. I don't know what it's from. Of course, right down at the bottom by the hinge there. I suppose moisture got in there somehow. It probably had a liner on it and held moisture or something. I don't know whether they did or not. It looks like the rod was drained in it. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's missing, but I, I believe the plug must go right there. So. I think it's been drained anyway. Anyway, there it is. I'm going to see, uh, I get next day or two, I'll play with it a little bit here. Let's see if I can get it to fire or something. It would be nice to get it running. By the looks of the plug, she's awful munged up. It's uh, a lot of oil and shit on them. And a little carbon and stuff, too. Let's we'll see. I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated on it.